Hello crafty friends! Today I'm back to show you another tutorial for Chibitronics. This time I used the long font set and um, I'm really sorry I colored all the images um, while sitting on the couch and watching some TV and relaxing so I didn't film this part but um, yeah as I don't really do fancy coloring and nothing special I think this is totally fine and I'm starting uh, creating my scene and um, starting to create now my circuit herefore I already die cut all my images I need for my card um, as you probably have seen a lot of time I used here my my favorite thing scallop die and I also used the snow drift die from my favorite thing because these are my favorite dies to use um, with light up cards as they are really thick and you guys know I like to hide the thickness of the card so I lay down all the images and cut out all the windows I um yeah I need to that the LED is going to shine. This um the square here will be the shining part behind the ticket selling um booth yeah and the bigger square is the part where the battery will be later so I can hide the sickness of the card. I did here some ink blending and yeah as I often do I love to use my tumble glass ink and for the grassy part I'm using here twisted citron and for this card I wanted to go really light and really soft and I think yeah I perfectly fit like I wanted to do the card. Now that the ink blending is done in a second, yeah, um, I'm drawing in my circuit and I used here for the Jupitonic stencil but as this is a um, regular circuit you can go without the stencil but I like to use it. And now I'm creating here my switch. I'm using here Wellum paper, I saw it, I guess, on Leslie Oman's card, and um, I found it really nice for you guys on YouTube, so you can see what um, we are doing and um, how the circuit is working. So, yeah, I like the idea, and I copied. I'm creating here a simple circuit, like I. Um, already said um, you just have to make sure to connect the plus side of the battery with the plus side of the LED and then the negative side from the battery to the negative side of the LED and then you are good to go. I like to put some straps of copper tape on top of the LED um, the LED has some contact uh, parts over the LED as well and doing this I want to make sure that the connection is good and won't tear and the circuit will work even if I send the card by mail. Now I used for the card panel I used one layer of foam tape. Now I used another layer of foam tape for my first grassy part I cut out the battery window and for the last part I used another layer of foam tape so in total the card has three layers of foam tape so and I like to make it with three layers because then I can make sure that the switch don't touches the battery um, all the time and I like to use the grassy pieces one on top of another to 
make the impression of uh, yeah more 3D special effect cards and doing this I hide the thickness of the card as well so yeah in German you would say um, zwei fliegen mit einer Klatsche fangen I don't know it in um, English <laughs> yeah and now the card is all about um, putting the piece together all the images I already colored and for the card and um, I'm using here different thicknesses of foam tape behind the images so they fit perfectly in the in the card the layers on top of the card panel are just with some um, regular glue the layers on the roller coaster are with one layer of foam tape the ticket selling booth is with three layers of foam tape as well as the little fox and the little bunny and here I'm decorating the roller coaster um, cars and the balloons and the tickets and everything which has color with um, my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and this glue drop on my crafting mat is Glossy Accents which really clocked and yeah but I wanted to use it so I put a big drop of glossy accent there and I'm using here my craft knife which is already really old and uh, full of glue and um, I like to use it for these kind of things um, to use the glossy accent to put on my card. Before I put the glossy accent on my card on the balloons I used my white jelly roll pen to create some highlight on the balloons and now after one day of drying all the glossy accents I'm embossing here my sentiment I'm using the push here um, stamp set from Lawn Fawn to emboss press and the sentiment from the um, coaster set life is full of up and downs um, I'm stamping on some vellum I like to use it um, when yeah I want to make it pop a little bit more and I'm using here my multi matte finished from Ranger to glue the vellum strap on top of the card and this was it for today I hope in the future I can do more videos with my coloring but um, at the moment it is really busy here at home so um, I hope you can live with this little compromise and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial for today and I hope to see you back soon again. Bye!